Now, let's practice counting in tenths or hundredths. So first, we have 0 0.62, 0 0.63, then 0 0.64. So what are the next seven numbers going to be? Well, let's show them. You can see counting in hundredths isn't much more difficult than counting in ones. The only thing we need to spot is that we don't usually write zeros on the end of decimals. So instead of 0 0.70, we would normally just write 0 0.7. And let's show the counting using place value counters. So 0 0.62 means we have 6 tenths and 2 hundredths. We can carry on adding hundredths. But now we have 10 hundredths and we exchange 10 hundredths for 1 tenth. So now we have 7 tenths. That's why we write 0 0.7, and then we just count on one more hundredth. Now, 0 0.05, 0 0.15, 0 0.25. What are our next seven numbers? Well, we can see that here we're counting in tenths, and you'll notice counting in tenths isn't much more difficult than counting in tens. So, on our place value counters, we can just see that we're adding one tenth each time. Now, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96. What are our next seven numbers? Well, we're adding hundredths or counting in steps of one hundredth, and you can see that counting in hundredths is very similar to counting in ones, but we don't normally write 1.00, because if you have a decimal point and then zeros on the end of a number, you have a whole number. So notice we get 0 0.99, then one whole, then 1.01. And let's see why we get that. So to start with, we had 0 0.94, so 9 tenths and 4 hundredths. Then we were counting in hundredths, but when we got to ten hundredths, we could exchange those ten hundredths for one tenth. And then, if we put our tenths together, you can see that we now have ten tenths. So, we can exchange those ten tenths for one whole, and that's why we get one. And then, we just kept on adding hundredths until 1.03. Now, 0 0.49, 0 0.59, 0 0.69. What are our next seven numbers? Well, you can see that we're counting in tenths. So, showing our place value counters, we start with 0 0.49, so four tenths and nine hundredths, and we're counting in tenths. But now, we have ten tenths, and to see why that's 1.09, what we're doing is changing those 10 tenths into one whole. So that's one whole and nine hundredths, or 1.09. And then we can keep on counting in tenths up to 1.39. Now, 3.47, 3.48, What are our next seven numbers? Well, we're counting in hundredths, and we can see 3.50 is usually just written as 3.5, because we don't need zeros on the end of decimal numbers. And we can see the counting with place value counters, because we started with 3.47, so that's three holes, four tenths, and seven hundredths, and we're counting in hundredths. But when we get to 3.5, we can change those ten hundredths for one extra tenth, and then continue counting in hundredths. Now, 2.61, 2.71, 2.81. What are the following numbers? Well, we can see that here we're counting in tenths. And showing this with place value counters, we start with 2.61, so two holes, six tenths, and one hundredth, and we're counting in tenths. When we've got ten tenths, 
we can exchange those 10 tenths for one more whole. So that gives us three ones and one hundredth, or 3.01, and then we can keep on counting in tenths up to 3.51. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.